We'll guide you through how to connect a MacBook Pro or Air to an external monitor. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. This is really convenient to do as you're then gonna have more screen real estate to do different things and it'll be bigger than your MacBook screen as well, meaning you can go and see things larger. So to get started, you want to go and look at your MacBook. You want to go and identify the output ports that it has. So you can go onto the sides. So you can see here on this side, you've got SD card, USB-C, and then an HDMI, which is a video output. On the other side, we've got uh, the power, USB-C, and an audio jack. Now on older MacBooks, you may just go and have USB-C, and so therefore you need to go and get an adapter. I'll link some different adapters down below. But before you know which adapter to get, what you can do is go and look at the back of your monitor or underneath it, as you want to go and identify the inputs this one has. So in this case, this monitor has got a display port, and then it's also got HDMI as well. So in this case, because it's HDMI, I can go and connect the MacBook directly, HDMI to HDMI. But otherwise, let's say your monitor just had display port, I need an HDMI to display port adapter or cable. Go and grab your cable. You can go and see I've already plugged one end into the monitor. And then I've got the other end here. And then what we can do is go and plug this into the MacBook. Here it is, I'll then go and grab it and we can go and plug it in to the MacBook just like so. And you can go and slide it in. Make sure they're fully connected. Now, after you've gone and connected it, you may go and find the monitor automatically goes and turns on. If it doesn't, you need to go and use the buttons on the side underneath it. You, you can see it's actually automatically detected it as well. Otherwise, with the buttons, you'll need to go and make sure you go and select the correct source. For example, I could come down here and then we can come into the input select and I'd need to go and choose HDMI 2 as that's what I plugged it into. Now we can go and start customizing how this goes and works as well. So you need to come onto the MacBook and you need to come down to the bottom and go and open up system settings. On the left, you then need to go and scroll down and go and find displays. I've got the built-in display selected and that is currently the main one, but I could go and set the monitor and then go and choose how that works. So we can make that the main display. We could go and mirror the displays or go and have it as an extended display. That's my favorite. You can go and drag things across like so. And as you can see, that thing goes and appears. You can see the alignment's pretty off. So to go and adjust this, what you can do is you can go and press arrange in the bottom right and then you can go and adjust it. So I'll have it about here, then we can press done. And now when I go and drag it across, you can go and see it then appears there as you can see. So that's it. That is how you can go and set it up.